Hello people of YouTube, I am Boo Diddles, and today I'm going to be playing The Long Dark. Now, this is a game that's been out for a while now. It's uh, currently an alpha, and I've been following this game since the beginning, so I'm super excited to play this game for you guys. Right now this story mode isn't really up to play, they're still working on that. Uh, so we're going to be playing a sandbox. Uh, I already started a game just to test the um recording and i kind of got distracted and ended up playing for two hours i just remembered i forgot to go through the uh the challenges which i won't be doing today because i'm still an intense newbie uh so they have hopeless rescue where it has you where you're like the last person alive apparently so you gotta go and find what is it um, you gotta find the... Oh, why can't I remember what it's called? <laughs> the fire gun. There we go. Found it. Well, in my head. But, um, you gotta find the flare gun and then you gotta go to the, um, light tower. Which I've never been to before because I'm new. And the difficulty looks pretty intense, so I'm gonna leave that behind. And then there's the hunted, which... It's probably going to be a while before I actually try this one because I, I'm not used to the controls yet. And I have yet to come across the bear. Like, the wolf gives me a heart attack enough. So I'm just going to go away from that. Next up is the wide out where it's a monster blizzard and all, is on the way. So you got to gather supplies and then take it to the coastal highway gas station. Well, not gas station. Garage. <laughs> And then you had a you had thirty days to do that, and then which should be um long enough of a time. I think I already saw somebody do it, which didn't take them long at all. I think what was it twelve days? Mm, not sure. Next up is the Nomad, where you gotta survive in fifteen specific locations across the map for three days each. Which um I'm kind of worried about doing this one because I haven't really traveled the map at all. I know two places and everything else is like bleh. So I'll wait till later. So for now I'm just gonna go back and I am going to do the sandbox and okay. So our experience is pretty much gonna be what level of difficulty I want to do. For now I'm probably just gonna stick with the Voyager because the fox is like intensely easy and the chance of dying is really really low and in Voyager you got like minimal of fighting wolves. Thank you for starring in the intro. Oh well, this turning out to be a long intro I am sorry. And then there is Stalker which it, it gets a little bit like medium I think like medium hard and then and then there's Interloper, where life just wants you dead. <laughs> so, I'm not ready for that. So, I'm just going to go with Voyager, and I'm going to confirm. I am going to start out with the Coastal Highway, because I, I already started out at Mystery Lake for my test run. So, I'm just going to start here. I'll probably head back there whenever I want, like, food or something. Or, if I can't find a gun in Coastal Highway, I'll head there. And then, um... I guess that's where the lighthouse is, and then I know a couple of places in Pleasant Valley where you could find a a gun, so maybe I'll head there if I can find where I where the little path thing is. I'm gonna choose a chick. Okay, um, I'm just gonna call this Boodiddles or Boodiddly YouTube. Okay, let's get this started. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> okay, mysterious geomagnetic uh, storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Probably not long, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> so, with the whole magnetic storm uh, that happened, it sort of affected the wildlife and, like, real life, the chances of, like, you getting hunted down by Oh, are you kidding me? They, like, got me out here. Oh, I forgot that it's not E to pick stuff up in this game. 
I need to get inside of house soon, but I need to like grab some materials real quick. I'm so used to being spawn closer to like the house. Oh man, they, they really spawn me out here, man. Like I see the water over there. I'm I'm just gonna go over to the house over here. And then hope I don't run into any wolves at this point because I don't know what's in my inventory. And I don't even know if I have um what is it called? A flare. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. I like the coloring on that rock. The green and the purple on it. <laughs> She's already freezing her tits off and I just begun. Come on, tits, come on. It worries me that the bunny's running this way because sometimes when they're running, they're running away from wolves. And then I can collect this for a band-aid, I do believe. Okay. I wonder if they had it to where, like, you could, like, collect, like, the metal or whatever from some trees. Because I know you can create, like, a tea from certain types of trees. I'm not sure which ones. And I don't know if they even have those type of trees in Canada, so... Never mind. This is more me. Oh, that bunny. Can you not, please? Right now, I am on edge. I don't know where any of the wolves are, and that bunny is like running everywhere possible. <laughs> Since it came flying back this way, I wonder if it was being chased. I'm gonna grab this last rosemary. These are uh, not roseberries, but rose hips, I think. Uh, you can also make uh, teas out of these, which if I get it, like. I can't remember, is it for sleeping that you drink the hot tea from rose hips? It, mm, I can't remember. Ugh. But, uh, when you mm. drink, uh, hot okay. drinks during this game, it's supposed to, uh, keep you nice and warm. I almost didn't see that. Um, which would be nice for whenever you go outside. Because <laughs> it gets pretty cold in this game, like... I, I'm not sure if I'm either going to die from hunger or if I'm going to die from the cold. Very likely, as I like, when I get flustered with these types of games, I'll like, try to get the thing that I'm it's supposed like to be doing done, but then it's like, yeah. I keep checking in there because these people like to hide stuff in weird spots, so I gotta like, be really careful whenever I look under beds and stuff. Because... They'll have stuff either at the back or behind something. Just putting them in weird places and you gotta oh, like, be on your toes to look for stuff. Okay. First I thought I saw a can at the top of the cabinet, but it looks just like a cup or a mug. Yeah, it's nothing. Ooh, accelerant. Why was that in the cabinet? The so, for anything. maybe it makes sense. I don't know. And I gotta check in here because sometimes you'll find meat and stuff in there. I found nothing. My luck. <laughs> nope. Okay, I have checked everything in here. I'm gonna try to work my way through here. Um, okay, that's how you crouch. I couldn't remember. It's been like a couple of weeks since I did the test recording. I've been busy with come in handy. school, <laughs> which started up like a couple of weeks ago. We're already uh, about to hit our fifth week in school, which it's really weird because going from oh how do I going from winter break to our classes is intensely stressful for me. Okay, I thought I was gonna be able to get that for a second there. Now, if I wanted, I could uh, take the curtain and I could shred them up. Um, what time of day is it? I have nine hours of daylight left. So I'm just going to finish looking around and then I'll... Oh, there's a weird thing. Um, I'm going to finish scavenging around the house and then I'll start ripping apart the curtains because I want to... I want, I need as much daylight as possible, because right now I don't have a storm lantern, which I need to see during the break. And of course, these don't work. I wonder if they're going to have a thing in, like, the story mode, where you got to get one of those working. 
or something. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, I think that makes sense. It's like, you gotta find a way to get out of here, right? Or you gotta hear if there's like, any announcements for what's going on. Okay. I'm just... Mm. I don't know if I want to carry around scraps of metal yet. And then, of course, I'm gonna take all. Most people are like, ew, I already take water for a toilet, but the water from the back of that is pretty clean, usually. I'd still, I wouldn't trust it, I'd still boil it. Uh, of course, everybody Nobody in Canada has anymore. their exact same medical shelf. Oh, forgot what I was doing. Okay. I always, after coming from Seven Days to Die, I always want to search this, and I know that you can't. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of antiseptic in here. Okay, I don't see anything in here. I'm surprised you can't, like, rip this to shreds, but I don't know what you'd use it for. Okay, I'm Okay, have I already searched the whole house? Hold on. I, I believe I have. Okay, I need to... There's my inventory. I need to check to see what would be warmer on me. Um, hold on. It's easier to do this so I can see. Okay. Nope. Okay. Not a lot. I like the little system. It's heavier, but... It, it's a lot more warmer, I do believe. And then no pants. Oh, he must be him. But I've seen someone play this, and they didn't have any pants at all. They just had the underwear thermal. And I'm like, oh, that must be so cold. Um, maybe if I repaired this, it'd be a lot better. Or I could put it underneath. Okay. I need to find something to put over the cotton, because wouldn't that be a lot better for the cotton? So, like, to protect it <laughs> or something? Because cotton soaks up water, right? Okay, I got 18% protection and 87% strength. Alright, well, I didn't even check my shoes, did I? Okay, I don't know if I have enough stuff to repair just yet. I don't even have a, a sewing kit. Which worries me. I'll have to, like, hopefully find it at one of the one places. And then, how much time? I have eight hours of daylight left. Um, I might have to spend my day here. Um, maybe. Wait, do I even have a sleeping bag? I should have, yeah. But, like, sorry, I, I came from the interloper from watching so I play the interloper and I don't think you have a sleeping bag so you have to go and find one and <laughs> that must be stressful because the only way of sleeping for the interloper is if you either find one of these or you get the luck of finding it so and if you don't sleep at a certain time I think you pass out maybe I haven't seen it happen yet but uh, I've seen where the characters are like, oh, I could sleep right here, but I probably wouldn't get back up. I think that's what they say. That's what the character says. Um, okay. I want this picture. <laughs> Sorry. And that leaves seven hours of daylight. Do you guys hear water? Oh, is that my pack? Because I have so much stuff on me now. I didn't realize I had that much water, honey. That or I just had the volume all the way up. I know once you start getting heavy, when you move around, you can actually hear all your stuff, like, intensely jiggling around. It's too bad I can't start a fire in here. Ugh, like, a f mm, that would probably be dangerous, because this is, like, wooden floors, and, you know... So if I got a pan from the kitchen and put the fire into the pan, maybe that could work. Keep it from touching the ground. Which it, it, it'd be pretty smart, I think. I'd get a pot or something from in here, though. There seems to be a lack of pans. Oh, there's one, yeah. I would so put something in here. Oh, a hacksaw can break that down? That, that's weird. 
I, mm, mm, hacksaw. Am I picturing the right 